being able to don a sterile surgical gown and gloves in the correct manner is a fundamental skill for all members of the surgical team. It's vital that impeccable technique is used throughout the process to prevent desterilization of the gowns, gloves, and the instruments that are used during the procedure. The use of two pairs of gloves is increasingly common, and it's recommended to help reduce the risk of transmission of bloodborne infections from needle stick injuries. However, in this video, we shall demonstrate the donning of gloves using the closed glove technique with only one pair of gloves. Before gowning and gloving, we have to first undertake a surgical scrub to decontaminate our hands and forearms. However, before going to scrub, we have to first open the pack containing our sterile gown. After removing and discarding the protective cover, we lay the pack upon a flat surface and carefully unfold the four corners to reveal the sterile gown inside. We can then open the pack containing our sterile gloves and allow them to fall gently upon the sterile field. We can now proceed to perform the surgical scrub. Having completed our surgical scrub, we then dry our hands and forearms using the sterile sheets provided in the same pack that contained the gown. We pick up one towel and use it to dry one hand, in this case the left hand. We start by drying each of the fingers of the hand, then the palm and dorsum of the hand, before drying down the forearm. We then dispose of that drying sheet before picking up the other and repeating the process for the other hand. Once the hands are dry, we can then pick up the surgical gown. We do this by using a pincer grip and holding it on the inner surface of the neckline. Holding the gown in two hands, we then let it unravel completely, making sure that as it does, it does not come into contact with any non-sterile surfaces. We then insert our arms into the armholes of the gown. However, we must keep our arms in the sleeve with bunching of the fist to prevent the hands from emerging from the ends of the sleeve. An assistant then ties the gown from behind, whilst we keep our hands and arms close together and at chest height, to prevent them from accidentally touching any non-sterile surfaces. Donning of the gloves is performed using the closed gloving technique. We start by opening the inner glove pack with the gloves positioned with the fingers away from us. Whilst continuing to keep our hands within the sleeves of the gown, we pick up the left glove using our right hand. The left glove is then laid upon the covered palm of the left hand, with the fingers facing towards us. If you're left-handed, the right hand glove can be picked up instead and placed upon the right palm, again with fingers facing towards us. Holding the glove in the right hand using a pincer grip, the glove is then peeled back over the left hand, which remains in the sleeve as we can see. As the hand fills the glove, the glove is then completely unpeeled to cover the wrist. We then repeat the same process to don the right glove. The benefit of the closed gloving technique is that at no point are the outer surfaces of the gloves touched by the hands. This helps significantly to reduce the risk of desterilizing the gloves. Lastly, we then pass the sterile tab of the gown to our assistant, who holds it in place Whilst we rotate anti-clockwise, we then take the tie back and perform a simple bow to help secure the gown. Remember that as we are now sterile, it's advised that we rest our hands upon a sterile trolley or keep our hands together above the level of the elbows and with our elbows tucked into our sides. This minimizes the risk of us accidentally touching anything non-sterile and becoming desterilized before we enter the sterile operating field. We are now gowned and gloved and we're ready to operate.